In this tutorial, I'll explain how to summarize multiple columns of a data table object using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data table that we can create with lines 2 to 7 of the code. So as first step, we need to install and load the data table package as you can see in lines 2 and 3 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 3 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the data table package, such as data.table, as you can see in line 5 of the code. And within the data.table function, we can specify the variables that we want to use in our example data. So if you run lines 5 to 7 of the code, a new data table object is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And we can print this data table to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 8 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a data table containing 12 rows and 3 columns, which are called x1, x2 and group. As you can see, the grouping column contains three different categories, the values A, B and C. So let's assume that we want to group our columns x1 and x2 by the grouping column. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 10. So in this line of code, I'm specifying the name of our data table. So in this case, our data table is called data. Then I'm opening square brackets and within the square brackets, I'm specifying a comma. And then after the comma, I'm using the lapply function, the sd symbol and the mean function, because in this case, I want to calculate the mean for each group in our data. However, at this point, you could also specify other functions such as the sum function or the median function. And then I'm specifying another comma and then I'm setting the by argument to be equal to group. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data table object, which is called data group. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data table is appearing, which is called data group. And we can print this data table to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new data table, which contains only three rows. And each of these rows corresponds to one of the categories in our grouping variable. And then in the second and in the third index positions of our data table columns, you can see the mean values of the two variables x1 and x2 corresponding to each group. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.